and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chelsea and if you're new around here we like to do beauty related content on this channel. If that's something that you like then please hit subscribe and if you're already subscribed then please click on the little bell and you'll be notified of every time that I upload. So in today's video I've already done my eyes which it look really cute and I use the Stacey Marie Carnival Interstellar palette with a With Love Cosmetics glitter on top and Unreal. Good combination I must say but I thought I haven't really done my base makeup on here for a while like just testing out some other products. Some products aren't brand new, some products are brand new but I don't know if I've used many of them on my channel. So I'm going to use the HMB Cosmetics Foundation. I don't know if I've used this on my channel yet. I've had it for a while and it's in my shop, my stash. Um, I've definitely used this on my channel. I'm pretty sure I have, but it's nearly gone. And I'm tempted to use it up because then I'll get the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Um, we've got a Beauty Bay Liquid Blush, which I've had for about a month. And I've definitely not used this on my channel, but I've been using it, so I know that I like it. I've got the new Revolution IRL Concealer, which I've done a TikTok on. If you haven't had a look at my TikTok, then I'll link that down below. I've got a new Primark Moisturising Foundation and Contour Stick. A Pound Land Press Powder, which has gone... Well, I've seen a few people try it out on TikTok, so I thought I'd try it out today. And also the Made by Mitchell Blush, but which I'm so excited to try. Especially because it's got some pinky, cool-toned, purpley blushes. And I think that will go really nice with this makeup look. And yeah, it's basically a full face of newish kind of products that I really, really want to try and start using so if you want to see a video on this look as well this will go up i'm pretty sure it'll go up first so if it is already up i'll link it down below if not then it'll be up next so first of all i'm going to use this primer so this is the beauty crop gripping primer the wee cherie one it's formulated with cherry extract and hyaluronic acid this is a godsend i absolutely love it i've been using it non-stop I just love how tacky it makes your skin feel. And at first I was a bit like, oh, it's red. And it does make you look like you just had one of those vampire facials. But it's just so nice and silky and smooth. And you can definitely feel that it's hydrating. Yeah, it's so tacky on your skin once you've rubbed it all in. Can you see that tack? So yeah, so whilst that's drying down a little bit, I'm just going to add a bit of um, Body Shop Instant Tan to my neck because I've got a feeling that this, this foundation is just a shade too dark for me. Now what? And I absolutely love the Body Shop Instant Tan. I use it on my face most days, to be fair, and just on my neck. It just blends nicely. But just remember, I am a Body Shop at Home consultant, so if you've got any questions, then do let me know. Or if you want to shop my link, or shop any of the products using my link, then, then I'll leave that down below as well. But it's just a godsend, because I rarely ever wear actual fake tan anymore, unless I'm going out, which is barely ever. Um, uh, okay, so HMB foundation. This is the Luminous Soft Focus Airbrush Foundation, which you probably would have seen this all over TikTok. Her brand is literally viral on TikTok. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely love like this foundation. I like a concealer. Hate the powder now. Absolutely hate the powder. So I'm just gonna pump a squirt on there. This is in the shade LF4N. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna pop um, the powder onto Vinted or Depop or something because it just looks so cakey on me and i'm just gonna go in with my peach and cream pc08 brush i feel like peach and cream is coming back into like well getting a bit more recognition now that they're on tiktok because peach and cream brushes i've been using for absolute years and they are some of my favorites along with um p louise ones but the face brushes are just unreal I've got a new sponge to try today, which is a Dose of Lashes sponge. What's it called? I swear it's called like the Baddie sponge or something like that. It basically looks exactly like the Coco Cosmetic Marshmallow sponge. Foundation is all done um, and I think it looks really nice. So I've got the Baddie sponge or whatever it's called, the Dose of Lashes sponge. And it is very squishy, it's very soft. It literally feels identical to the Coco Cosmetics one. So hopefully it blends out lovely as well. So yeah, we're going to go in with the, the IRL Filter Finish Concealer. And I love the foot applicator to this because then you can really get up in there. So 
but I don't want to take it too high, obviously, because my under eye makeup. Yeah, I don't think this concealer is bad, to be fair. I quite like Revolution concealers. I feel like they're a lot better than their foundations. I'm not 100% on their foundations. Like, when I first apply, it, apply them, they're fine, but they don't seem to wear well on my skin. And I'm just taking some along the side of my nose there, but with a brush. Yeah, that blends out really nicely and really quickly as well. And now that's all blended, we're going to go in with the Primark My Perfect Colour Moisturising Foundation and Contour Stick. This is a buildable coverage, blendable natural finish with vitamin E. Now, I always see Jordan Lipscomb talk about these on um, TikTok, and this is in the shade Chai, and also on her YouTube as well. I don't know if it's the same formula, but I'm pretty sure this is the same shade. So I'm just going to check to see where my cheekbones are. It's very, very creamy. That was a really bad nose contour. It's quite like big so it's a bit hard to do so I'm just going to use my Zoeva Petite Define Buffer Brush just to blend this bit out it blends quite nice in because it's a foundation stick as well it's going to give that little bit of extra coverage which is why I don't mind too much of putting it directly onto my skin because I know I'm still going to get the coverage from the foundation stick It's going to look very crazy to start off with, but trust the process, it will look better. I'm going to use this Unicorn Cosmetics brush. I, this is a UC, UC035. I don't know if they still do this, but I find it's just so good for, like, your nose. Because it's so straight. And literally, I used this in my Huda Tantor the other day for my nose and oh my god I look like I completely changed the shape of it it looked so good but this one's I suppose a little bit too creamy all right so that is all done and I'm liking how that's turned out so next up we've got the new beauty play liquid blush these haven't been out that long but this is in the shade spring and I've been using this for work it's quite a moussey a velvety formula which reminds me a little bit of the well, I don't know if it's the same sort of formula as the Made by Bitch ones. I'm not too sure, but yeah, it's Moussey Velvet. And it's quite pigmented. It's very nice. I do want to get some more. So to blend that in, I'm just going to use a Peaches PC21 brush, which is just a smaller version of that foundation brush, which is perfect for, like, blush and contour and any of those sort of cream products. And it just blends out so nicely. So yeah, and they're, they're quite affordable as well. They're not even that expensive. So if you haven't tried them, I definitely would recommend them from Beauty Bay. And I know that they do like a set of all the shades as well, which is a really good bundle. And it's only like in the 20s, I think it is, the pound, 20, 20 odd quid for like multiple, like four or five of them, I think it is. So now we're going to test out the powder, the Poundland powder. So this is from the Makeup Gallery, which is like Poundland's brand, I assume. And it says smoothly does it, press powder. So this is in the shade Translucent one is a super soft matte powder for a shine free finish and it contains vitamin e so i'm going to go in and use this with my trigwell puff let me just make sure i've got no creases under my eyes and they're all patted out i love this that gives an automatic airbrush flawless finish this is like the area that i've done compared to this side Oh, I like that. It says it's translucent, but I feel like it's got a bit of a... Has it got a bit of a colour to it? I'm not too sure. I... Look. look. The difference. That is... And these are a pound. This is a pound from Poundland. I feel like I need them all. Has anyone tried Poundland makeup? And if so, are there any other things I need to know about that I need to buy? Because that is insane. I'm just patting it on with my Trigwell Puff. You know what? Powders, some powders, I think, are absolutely amazing. So this one is obviously a pound. And my Primark one, which is £3.50, and that's my all-time favourite loose powder, which I actually need to top up on because I'm running out. Right, so I don't actually have any new bronzers because I never really buy bronzers. I'm just going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury one in the shade 2 Medium. This is the airbrush pa uh, bronzer. I have not used this for a while, to be fair. So I'm just going to go in with a spectrum brush i've not used this bronzer in absolute ages i 
I know you've been waiting for this bit. This is the the Made by Mitchell blush book, which I'm so excited to have, to try, to use. It is stunning. And I got this on TikTok shop for £25 when he um, stocked back up on it. At those shades. That, they look absolutely beautiful. I'm feeling like it's got to be these kind of shades today, isn't it, really? Because we've got purple on the eyes. So I'm thinking, I think I want to go in with this purple one, you know, and just see what purple blush looks like on me. So I'm just going to take this Real Techniques Multitask Brush and let's, we're going to go into For the Lovers. So this purple shade here and we're going to hope for the best. Unreal. It's pulling through like quite a cool toned pinky look rather than like pure lilac, which I feel like is better because then it's less intimidating. But you'll be surprised. Try a purple br blush. Yeah, it just looks Barbie doll, pinky. I'm going to really sweep it under my eyes as well, to be honest. So I've got that bright, cool toned under eye. I'm obsessed. Sorry, I absolutely love this. I can't stop applying it. This purple blush. Would it be bad if we went for the darker one? Like maybe up here? Let's try it. So this is night and right. So I'm just gonna lightly dab a bit there. I feel like it's needed for this makeup look. Oh, that was a bit too much. Let me just dust my brush. Let's try and blend this. I'm gonna go in back in with the lilac one for the lovers and just, okay, I absolutely love that blush. That is so pretty. If you wanna see a specific blush shade on my skin tone, out of this palette, then let me know and I'll film either a TikTok or a short or something like that for you. Um, but yeah, stunning. I absolutely love Think Pink and Milkshake, so up there, I've got the full size Milkshake over in my makeup collection, that was my first. Um, made by Mitchell blush, but th like these peachy ones as well. We've got Frill Joy, Peachy Friday, 90s Nude, Making Me Blush. Let's also swatch Hint of Innocence, Rose, which has got like glitter part particles in it, but it's beautiful. Um, and then Terracotta Twos. So yeah, so some of these are unreleased. They're not um, in the singles form. So yeah, love this. Definitely, definitely, if you're a blush girl, like I am, then I'd recommend this because, like, what, the blushes are, like, 15 quid each, whereas you get 12 in here for £35, I think it is, full price. Or if you go on TikTok shops, sometimes they do it on offer. So that's that all done. We haven't really got a new highlight, I don't think. Let's use my MUA one that I've brought in my MUA haul not that long ago. I'm just going to take it on a fan brush. And this is in the shade Peach Diamond. So it's got like a little colour reflect to it, which I think will go really nicely with this look. And I'm back into these fan brushes for like the ultimate highlight. I am loving this. I'm feeling I'm feeling like I'm back into my makeup, back into like the creativity. And yeah, I think it's because I've just dyed my hair as well. So my hair's looking pretty fresh. So in terms of lips, so these aren't new new products, but they're products that I've not tried before yet, or especially not on my channel. So this is a P. Louise lip liner in the shade on the edge. So just like a brownie lip liner. So we're going to line my lips with this. Mm, I typically like it a bit dark, if I'm honest. Yeah, no, I'm not feeling that lip liner. Let's go get another one. This is another new lip liner from P. Louise, and it's Purpose. So this is slightly darker, so I think this one will be better, to be honest. And then I'm just going to use a brush to just soften it and blend it in a bit more. So I'm tempted to go in with the colour case, but I just need to put on a bit of lip balm underneath because otherwise it really dries out my lips. So let me just pop a little bit of Lano lip. Do I want to go to the electrics one and put a bit of a pinky, a pinky tone on? Or do I just want to go in with the nudes? Or do I just want to go in with just the Made by Mitchell Gloss in Natural Nights? I think I might. Just go in with a little bit of this shade here. So this is Dusty. So it's got quite a pink undertone to it. And I'm just going to apply that with the brush that comes with the kit. 
Oh, that's very light. And I'll tap it out. Okay, that looks quite nice actually. Literally just the tiniest bit in the centre. And then tap it out. Gives my lips a bit of an ombre. Perfect. And then, yeah, now we're going to top with that gloss. So this is the Made by Mitchell lip gloss from the Beam Lights collection, I think it is. I've not used this gloss yet. That's a really nice, juicy formula. I'm just going to pop on a bit of the ABH Dewy Set Spray. God, my lips look so juicy. So about this, ju -ju 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 my hair. And the base is all complete. And I'm absolutely in love with my makeup. No, stop. I love this base. This base works really well with the eyes, the lips. I'm absolutely loving. So yeah, so I feel like we've not done a base makeup look for a while other than my full face of MUA makeup. But yeah, definitely, definitely need to give these products a go. I love every single one of them. These are stuff that I've been testing quite regularly apart from a few things that I've never tried before like the lip gloss, the pressed powder. Wow, for a pound, that is sensational right now. Like my face looks matte, it looks flawless. It looks like it's got a bit of a filter on. I'm obsessed, actually obsessed. Yeah, you've got to try this foundation. It is really good. It does live up to the hype on TikTok. The IRL um, Makeup Revolution Concealer is really good. The Beauty Bay Liquid Blush is really good. My favourite primer at the moment, the Beauty Crop one. The foundation stick from Primark's really good. You just need to try it all. It just, it's just outstanding, all of these products. They're absolutely amazing. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and also leave me a comment down below. Are any of these products are your favourites? What are your favourite base products at the moment? What do I need to try? What do you want me to try? That's it for today and hopefully I shall see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.